Yo, what is up guys, it's High Cross, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the least amount of input delay on your gaming mouse. A lot of you guys may have certain settings enabled which will be causing mouse delay, so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the least delay possible. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. Alright boys, let's get right into the video. First off, we are going to be disabling power saving. So this is basically, it'll make sure that your computer is utilizing full power and not saving any of it, which can actually decrease performance. So to start, we are going to head, make our way down to the left, um, the bottom left here into the search bar, and we're going to type in device manager. You can just type in DEV and select that. I will uh, maximize the screen for you guys. Next up on the left side here, we're going to look for human interface devices, and we're going to hit this little drop down on the left side. Once this, uh, once you hit this drop down, we're going to locate our branded mouse. So right here, it says Logitech G Hub Virtual Keyboard. This is actually my mouse, and it's just misnamed because I don't have a Logitech keyboard, and I never did. So uh, Logitech keyboard is never plugged in. It just got misnamed somehow. Um, but whatever you guys are using, if you have like a Razer mouse and a Razer keyboard, it, it'll definitely have both of them in here. But um, if say you're just using a Razer mouse, it might come up as Razer keyboard, but it should be your mouse um, if that's the only thing that is plugged in. So all you're gonna do um, when you have this selected is we're going to right click it and hit properties. All right, so we're gonna hit properties. Now we're going to head over to power management on the right. And basically we want this unchecked. We don't want the computer, we want allow the computer to turn, on, turn this device off to save power. We want that unchecked um, because we don't want any power saving to go towards this. We want full amount of power to heading towards our mouse. So there's no input delay or no uh, possible performance decreases. Um, so yeah, just make sure that's unchecked and hit okay. And that is the end of step one, super simple. Um, should just get uh, get rid of any little little delay there. And now we are on to step two. So for this next step, we are going to be making sure your mouse is at the highest polling rate possible. Basically, polling rate is the frequency at, at which your mouse signals the computer its whereabouts on the screen. So basically, we want it at the highest amount possible. So first off, we're going to make our way to the mouse's software. So if you guys have mouse software, make sure to open that up right now. I have the Logitech G Hub for my G Pro Superlight. And once I double click that, we're going to head into the Superlight software. So just click it there. Um, and we are going to see if you guys will notice on the left hand side here, we see report rate per second. Choose how often the mouse reports information to your computer. We want it at the max amount. We don't want it any anywhere below 1000. Um, and actually when I got this mouse, for some reason it was at 500 as default. I don't know why that was a thing. Um, but I, I found out like five months later and I changed it to 1000. So it's very important for you guys to double check that. Make sure it is, uh, you have the highest amount selected. Some mice actually have like 4k Hertz polling rates. Um, so you, you definitely want to check that because if you have a 4k Hertz polling rate, your mouse is definitely, definitely a beast and, um, it'll definitely be worth it there. Uh, but yeah, after, after you guys have like the, uh, this selected at the highest amount, you guys can just close out of that. And that is the end of step two. Also very simple. Now we're on to step three. So now we're going to be going down to the search bar again, and we're going to type in control panel and we're going to open that up. Now we're going to head into system and security. And once system and security opens up, we are going to head into power options. All right, so once you guys are in power options, we're going to go on the left side here. We see choose what the power buttons do. Um, you guys are just going to select that. And once this comes up, you'll notice that these uh, four options are all kind of grayed out. You can't select anything. So make sure you go up and into the shield. You want to change settings that are currently unavailable. Select that and that'll make them available right here. And so this is actually a little bit of a controversial um, setting change, all right? And basically, for for many people, they uh, a lot of people say that this reduces input delay, while other people say that this has no change. Um, and so what I would recommend doing is uncheck this turn on fast startup. That's that's what we're doing. We're turning we're turning off fast startup, and basically this is supposed to help. Uh, your PC run faster and it's also supposed to help with input delay. So when you turn this off, 
this isn't this shouldn't really affect anything it just might take a little longer for your pc to to start so yeah basically this is a little controversial but um honestly if if it were up to me i would have this unchecked and all we're gonna do is hit save changes um and that's all you guys have to do you just have to hit save changes and and that is that that's all you guys got to do and just exit out of that and that'll basically hopefully give you guys a little more uh less input delay on your computer overall which will in in turn help your mouse's input delay as well and on to our last step step four it's kind of it's it's pretty simple it's uh very straightforward but you guys basically just want to make sure that your wireless mouse dongle is as close to your mouse as possible with nothing in the way of it and basically this makes it so that there is no wireless interference when transferring data and can also help with some sort of with any delay in game so if you guys are experiencing that your mouse is like flicking in game or it's not really uh the builds aren't placing as instantly it might be because your mouse dongle fell on the floor or your mouse dongle is being blocked by something so if you, i can show you guys in the camera right here um this is my logitech uh g pro super light dongle hold on let me make sure that's on the screen this is my logitech g pro super light dongle and i basically have it no no more than five to ten inches away from my mouse at all times and that basically gives it an insane amount of uh like low input delay and an insane amount of connection to the dongle um because i want it you know sending as much information as possible i don't want any stutters in game um because my dongle is far away you know you don't you don't want that so definitely make sure that your desk is all nice and cleaned off uh, with with nothing disrupting that and nothing in the way because um, no one no one wants any discrepancies there but yeah with that said those were my four steps to help minimize mouse input delay i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next one peace